Hello sixth graders, today for unit nine we are learning about percent of change. Vocab here that you will hear consistently throughout the video is percent of change. Um, this is the, um, the ratio that compares the change in quantity to the original amount. So finding out how much something has changed over an amount of time. Percent of increase is when the amount has gone up. And we find that by taking the amount that it's increased and divided by the original. And then percent of decrease is when an amount has decreased over time. And we find that by taking the original amount or the amount that it's decreased, sorry, and divided by the original. So here's how we're going to go about finding this. Find each percent of change to the nearest percent. So the price of gas in 1990 was $1.30. The average cost in 2016 was $2.14. $2 what is the percent of increase in the gas prices? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find how much it's changed over time. So to do that, I'm going to take the higher amount, that $2.14, and I'm going to subtract it from the lower amount. And then whatever I get from that, I'm going to divide from the original. And the original is always like the first one, the oldest time, which in this case would be the one in 1990. So I am going to take that and divide it by $1.30. And when I do that, it's going to give me a decimal. So I subtracted the top amount and ended up with this. And then I'm going to take that and divide it by 1.3. So I go 0.84 divided by 1.3. And I got this crazy long decimal. I'm just going to go a few spots past the decimal point. Now, that's a decimal that I have to turn into a percent. So to do that, I'm going to move the decimal two spots to the right, which is why I went three numbers past the decimal, just because it says... Um, round to the nearest percent, which would be the whole number. So now I have this for my answer. I'm going to round to the nearest percent, which is the spot in front of the decimal. Look to the six, make it round up, um, five or more raise the score, which ends up being 65% increase because the cost has gone up. It's an increase because it started at a lower amount and I finished at a higher amount, making it an increase. Currently, the average price of a pair of Nikes is $120. In 1980, the average was $70. What is the percent of change of the price of shoes, and is it a percent increase or decrease? So first, I'm going to figure out how much it has changed, and to do that again, I'm going to take the larger amount and subtract off the smaller amount, and I'm going to take that then and divide it by the original. The original, again, is the oldest price, which would be 1980. So I'm going to divide that by 70. So 120 minus 70, I end up with 50. And then 50 divided by 70 is going to give me an answer like this. And again, I'm going to go three spots past because then I can round to the nearest percent. Move the decimal two spots to the right making it 71.4, round to the nearest ones place, four or less, let it rest. So 71%. And then is it an increase or decrease? So if it started at 70 and now it's at 120, that's going up in price, which makes it an increase. A couple more to try. It would be great if you paused and tried them on your own to see if you've got this down. The price of a new vehicle was $21,140. During the holiday sale, the car was reduced to $19,820. What is the percent of decrease? So again, on the top here, we're going to figure out how much it's changed. So I'm going to take the larger amount and um, subtract it by the smaller amount. And then we take that and divide it by the original, which in this case is the price of the car before the holiday sale. So now 21,140 minus 19,820 is 1,320. And we're gonna divide that by the original And I get this for an answer. Again, I'm always going to go 
three spots past the decimal unless it were to say a different rounding. Um, but usually I'm just going to round to the nearest whole percent. Two spots to the right. We end up with 6.2, which would round us to 6%. And it's a decrease because the price is going down um, during the sale. On Wednesday night, it was 61 degrees. The next morning, it was 22 degrees. Find the percent of change, and is it an increase or decrease? So again, on the top of our fraction, we are going to find the difference between the two. I just always start with the largest number so that it is a, um, a whole number. And then divide it by the original. So in this case, the night, Wednesday night, happened before the next morning. So that would be the original that we put on the bottom. So then when I go and subtract these, 61 minus 22 is 39. And then I'm going to divide that by 61. And I get this for an answer. Move my decimal two spots to the right. And I'm going to round to the nearest whole number or nearest percent. So the 9 would make this the 3 round up to a 4. So 64%. And then is it an increase or a decrease? So we started at 61 degrees. The temperature dropped to 22. Therefore, it is a decrease. It is getting colder outside. So 64% decrease for our answer. That's it for percent of change. Um, feel free to go back and rewatch. Otherwise, come to class with questions and make sure you have your notes ready to go.